These are the instructions for Workplace 2B Racing Fractions. Each pair of players needs one Racing Fractions game board, one Racing Fractions record sheet, one deck of Racing Fractions cards, and eight blue and eight red game markers. So you're going to start by putting a game marker at each of the zeros. And I already have this done here, except for the last one. So here's player one's marker and player two's marker. Now, player one's going to pick a card, one and one fourth. And the goal for each player is to get all of your markers over here to two on the number line. So, but there are many ways that I could do my moves and I'm going to show you some simple moves and some more complicated moves. For one and one fourth, if I wanna look at the one fourths number line, the simplest thing for me to do would just be to put my marker right there. And that's perfectly fine. But if you wanted to, you could move your in, any other of your markers to the one. So I can split this up, in other words. I could move it to the one, and then I could move something else to the one fourth. So I could go right here and do one fourth. And if I look down the sheet here, I can also see anything that lines up perfectly with one fourth is also an option. So I could have gone to two eighths or three twelfths. So I have all these different decisions that I can make. At the beginning of the game, you won't need as many options. At the end of the game, you're going to need a lot of options. As you're going along, so this person got one and one fourth, they moved uh, one, uh, they moved to a one and they moved to a one fourth. So on the record sheet, they're going to come over here and they're going to put in what they they rolled a one and one fourth. So I'm gonna put that right there. But what they ended up doing was moving a one. I think I'll do it with this this time. They moved a one and a one fourth. So that's really their equation. And I guess I should have altogether said that is one and one fourth. So I have my complete equation right here. And that shows how I moved the different uh, pieces on my board. So let's do another one. So player two, let's say, here's player two's card, one and two fifths. So they could make the same kinds of decisions. Let's say they decide to break it apart also and move one. Let's do this one. Let's move that to one. And then I'm going to move two fifths on my fifths number line. One, two fifths. Now, again, if I look right below to see what's in line with two fifths, it's the same thing as four tenths. So I could have also moved four tenths on my tenths line. So uh, many options there. Again, make sure you come over to your record sheet and record what you did. You're going to keep playing like this and moving along. Like I said, you're going to need more of those options as you get more toward the end of the game. But keep in mind, you can break these apart uh, however it helps you the most.